Hey folks, hey Don, this is my hash. And today I'm going to show you how to reduce your electric bills by lowering the power consumption of your computer. So let's go. So first thing you must do is set the proper power plan. So type in choose a power plan in the search box and open up this window. Make sure the balance plan is selected. If you want to take it even further, you may choose power saver. If bills are your concern, never choose high performance or ultimate performance plans. Next, pull up the media control panel and go to manage 3D settings. Under global settings, go down to power management mode and set it to adaptive. This will make sure your graphics card ramp up only when needed. But if you want the GPU running at full power, say when you're playing a particular game that needs a lot of GPU horsepower, then you can go to the Program Settings tab and set the power management to prefer max performance for the games that need the most GPU power. Here I have set The Witcher 3 and Doom Eternal to max performance. So next step is to get a better power supply unit. A PSU with a high efficiency will draw less wattage from the wall socket to provide the PC with the same amount of power. The higher the 80 plus rating, the better the efficiency. So get an 80 plus platinum or even a titanium if you can afford it. See a link in the description for PSUs I recommend. You can also reduce the power used by the processor itself by undervolting it. In my AMD X570 motherboard, undervolting is dead easy. Just go to the advanced tab here in the BIOS. Then go down here to AMD overclocking. Accept the warning. And select this precision boost overdrive. And go here to curve optimizer. Set curve optimizer to all cores. Optimizer sign should be negative since you're lowering the voltage. For optimizer magnitude, you can try 10 or 15 or 20 or even 25. Make sure when you log back into Windows, you run a stress test, see if it crashes. I use 15 because anything more than that, my system crashes with the blue screen. At 15, it's perfectly stable. Go back one step in the BIOS, and here you can set the PBO limits to manual. Auto is fine as well, but setting manual, you get much finer control of the voltages. Now you can enter the PPT, TDC and EDC limits manually. I'm using these parameters, but if you google a bit, you can find the best settings for your motherboard and processor combo. Finally, to see if the undervolting is stable, you need to use a stress test such as Prime95. Download link is in the description of this video. Open Prime95 and select the Options tab, and then Torture Test. Select the Blend Test and run it for 30 minutes. If there's no blue screen, you can try undervolting it a bit more, or stick with this. If it crashes, you need to go back and try a lower value and see if it's stable. Also, you can keep track of the CPU and GPU power levels using software like GPU-Z and CodeTemp. Links are in the description. Make sure when running Prime95 to keep an eye on CPU temps using the core temp software. Finally, you can reduce power usage by shutting down the PC and monitor instead of putting them to sleep or hibernate. There you go. So that's about it. Any questions you have, make sure to ask below. Thanks for watching. See you later.